Hi, I'm Jill Thickpen with Furniture Distributors, and you're watching the East Daily Download. I like it. That's great. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. I'm Anissa Sakila with the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. Welcome to the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. That's right. This is the so let's get started. Hello and welcome to the East Daily Download. We are back. It's official season two. Hey everybody. Mark, it's, uh, uh, yeah. it's Lauren and, and Mark and Lauren is back from her maternity leave and welcome back. We're glad to have you. Thank you so I missed much. Oh, I missed you guys too. Um, I, uh, but I do have one really important question. Why yeah. am I blindfolded? You are blindfolded because we are going somewhere special. Oh, oh, is it ice cream? But it's secret. Is no, it? it's not ice cream. It's better than ice cream. Wait, what? What is there? What? It How is, is that possible? It is way better okay. than ice cream. Well, now you've really uh, intrigued me. It really is. Okay. Um, so, you know, we're getting started here with season two. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Um, we wait, wait, are. I feel like we're stopped. Where, we we stopped for just a second. Okay. Um, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, I know. Well, that's the point. That's why you were blindfolded. Yeah. I'm trying to kind of drive in a way to throw you off a little bit. <laughs> well, congratulations. You've wanna, succeeded. Yeah. I don't want you to know where we're going. Um, but it is exciting. It has to do with the start of season two. I just have one question, maybe you can answer this. What is Will it? we, throughout the course of this week, be at wherever we are going? We will. Okay, so this is a we whole week long here. thing. We will be here all week. Okay, so that's exciting. We're gonna be on location, Ooh. out of the studio, and at some point we will unveil uh, Studio E's new set at some point this season. We will. When, when we are ready. That's actually a clue as to what we're doing this week. Okay. Oh, are we at a, a metal shop? Are we going to do some smithing on some metal for the set, like making some sculpture art? No, that's okay. not it. Okay. That's not it. Okay. Well, we'll find guess. out soon. Okay. We will find out soon. Well, well guess, you'll find out. Soon. I guess we yeah. should uh, then, in that case, just check out the uh, first story, and uh, we'll, uh, I guess, be back in a little bit. We'll be back. Uptown Greenville already has shops, restaurants, and other businesses. Now city leaders are talking about adding a hotel to the mix at this land right here to help attract tourists. In 2019, a development group called Greenville Ventures LLC reached out to the city with an idea, a hotel in Uptown. They uh, grew an interest in the property and uh, came back to us and asked if we could actually uh, sit down and try to work through some type of a contractual agreement for the development of a hotel on that space. The group's had its eye on the hammock lot, vacant city owned property on Evans Street. If approved, this lot could become a haven for tourists. About a seven story hotel located on that on that property that would have a rooftop bar and lounge and would be connected like by some very small breezeway to our, our parking deck. With plenty of space for guests. We're looking at a hotel the development of a hotel that's at least 90 rooms. The estimated cost, $19 million. Assistant City Manager Michael Cowan says it's worth it. It means anywhere between 100, 110, 120 individuals on a weekly basis coming into Uptown Greenville that are here overnight, that are ready to shop, they're ready to eat, they're in, uh, ready to enjoy the nightlife. Cowan hopes the hotel leads to more uptown growth. So spurring other type of economic development, other shops and restaurants and boutiques that could spur up as a result 
of the hotel being located here in the center city. Here at Methodist Home for Children, our work is always essential and the need is always growing as we continue to take in children. Now more than ever, we need loving foster homes willing to provide safe, stable homes and donations to fight abuse and neglect in the Pitt County area. See how you can foster or help by visiting mhfc.org today. Change a life for the better with Methodist Home for Children because every child deserves a chance. Back, aren't we? Is that we're back? Okay. We're back. Okay. We're back. We're back. Yeah, Mark, I, mean, I can't. Mark, we're I... back. Mark can't see still. Uh, I, I, I just wanted to have a chat before I get you out of the van. Okay, am I in trouble? Um, you're not in trouble because I feel like I've had this. Someone said we need to chat before, and it's usually because I'm in trouble, I've done something wrong, but I don't think I've done anything wrong. Well, you haven't done anything I need to talk to you about right <laughs> oh, now. <laughs> I guess there's a differentiation there. So Yes. Okay. We're here. Okay. We'll lay some ground rules. Okay. Now, I need you to to take this very seriously. This is something I mean, that is I is that know, something I'm capable it's of? It's you. That's why I'm having this talk with you. Gotcha. That's why we're having this talk. Serious. So this is going to determine the rest of the season. And possibly, you know, the next season. And yeah. it's gonna go on and on. The decision Are we here to find a new co-host the decisions no. that we make this week we are not replacing you don't worry <laughs> <laughs> the Good. decisions that we make this week yeah. will carry on through the show for a very long time huh. very, don't i see I, I i feel like you were getting ready to take your blindfold no off. no no i'm just scra i'm scratching my head trying to figure out what it could be because i feel like we have a really good foundation laid so i'm trying to understand what it could be mm -hmm. that would do what you just said so it's got to be something really important it it's got to be something that's kind of monumental to the show itself and the foundation of the show so wherever we are mm -hmm. must be extremely important it is and must be awesome super awesome okay well that's super good super awesome okay um so i'm gonna let you keep scratching your head everybody else be sure to check out East Daily Download online, WNCT.com. We have our mobile app. It's under We're the download on tab. It you're, is. you're a little out of practice with this. Under the okay. download tab it's on Under w the download <laughs> tab. <laughs> um, we are on Facebook. We're on Instagram. East Daily so, Download hashtag. Yes. There you go. Okay. There you go. And so, do not drive and uh, watch the mobile app or check our Facebook page. Wait till you are stopped and preferably without a blindfold on. Right. Okay. Right. So are we? Uh, so we're gonna get we're gonna get back to the show, okay. and then uh, when we come back, maybe maybe I'll let you out of the van. Well, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. So I guess we check this next story out, and then we'll be back. That's it. Okay. More than 70% of North Carolina's firefighters are volunteers, but the ranks of volunteers drop every year. That means fewer people to protect the community in emergencies. The number of volunteers have been dwindling for the past decade and it's beginning to become a crisis of sorts in the fire service. A crisis. If someone has an emergency, they have a fire in their home, someone's going to be there. But with a shortage of volunteers, it might take that department longer to get there. That could result. The longer it takes us to get there to handle the emergency, the, the worse off the emergency is going to be. In lives lost. There's no fire protection, no property and lives are being lost. Winterville Deputy Fire Chief says it's a money issue. Jurisdictions just don't have the funding to support fully staffed, fully paid fire departments, so they depend on the volunteers. The volunteers aren't showing up, there's no fire protection. But now? The North Carolina Association of Fire Chiefs and the International Association of Fire Chiefs teamed up with Volunteer Work Solutions. There's a two-year initiative. It's really just an effort to, to keep the ranks. Filled. To address the shortage in 15 at risk areas, including Pitt County. They've implemented these partnerships with volunteer fire departments and uh, they're 
working together with us to increase our recruitment efforts. Tony Klont says his department is already seeing an increase. If we keep the volunteer numbers up, the trucks are going to get out the door, the calls are going to be handled quicker. Um, we will help prevent the loss of property and, and most importantly, loss of life. Klont says the best way the community can help is by reaching out. Not all volunteer fire departments are looking for people to fight fires. They also need administrative and support workers. And something as simple as donating a case of water can help. In Winterville, Caroline Boyer, 9 on your side. I have never felt this way before. I knew I was worth more than that. I can't stop. I know I can change. I love myself. Come together. The past is over. Right now. The future hasn't happened yet. Over me. The only time is right now. Dr. Phil, weekdays at 4 on 9 on your side. Hello everyone, welcome back to the show. So we are here at our undisclosed location. Mark is still in the van. <laughs> so we're gonna let him out. Yeah, come on, come on, come on out. Come on out, here we go. I'm not a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're blindfolded, yeah. so. Do not try this at home. No, come on out, shut the van door. All right. Uh, yeah, fa yeah. Face that way. There you go. Okay. There you go. All right. So, what do you hear? I hear cars. A lot of cars. You do hear cars. So we're probably near a road right here. I hope no one is thinking that I've been abducted. Oh. Is anybody stopping to help? <laughs> Sorry, nobody no. really seems to be all that worried about you. Okay. Um, yeah. But you know, they, they they probably just assume that I'm a nice person. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> So we are here. On location someplace on mysterious. On location, somewhere that Mark has no idea yet. That is clearly um, true. This is a great way for me to come back to get to slap a blindfold on him. So <laughs> this is nice. I can, uh, you know. I don't know what you're doing. Um, that was the point. So got it. Now we've got you out of the van. Yes. We're gonna check out this next story. Sounds like a we, great idea. Yeah. Am I gonna take this off right now? Not now. Uh, okay. When we come back, you'll get to take the blindfold ah, off. For the end of the show, I get it. It's going to be a grand unveiling at grand the end. Grand unveiling of Got our it. location. That's just a good uh, good television technique right there to tease the audience to keep them on till the end. I like that. That's good. Yes. Yes. It's good producing right there. Oh, thank you. I learned from the best. Who was that? Not you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we will be back. Check out this story. It's really nice to be a part of something that you feel has something really good to say. The one and only Ivan! Only E.T. has this exclusive behind-the-scenes footage of Angelina Jolie's new movie, The One and Only Ivan, streaming August 21st on Disney+. Plus. Memories never leave us. They just get out of reach. Brian Cranston and Angelina co-star in the film about a suburban shopping mall circus with a very special silverback gorilla. Whoa, did you draw all these? A gorilla? Who draws? Ivan is played by the brilliant Sam Rockwell. Can you tell what this is? Danny DeVito is playing Bob. Now nah, we're talking. And also Shaka Khan. <laughs> Home run! <laughs> so, the greatest casting ever. They're really a family trying to work together to get a second chance. And we'll have much more on the next Entertainment Tonight. Now downloading Medical Minute. Keith Morlino's two-year long weight loss journey hit a major bump back in March. I got panicked because I couldn't go to the gym anymore. And uh, literally overnight, it closed. But he refused to lose his momentum. 
230 pounds at his heaviest, Keith is now down to 180, dropping more than 20 pounds during the pandemic. This is probably the best shape I've ever been in my entire life. Um, I think I can honestly say that. Registered dietitian Robin Forutan says now is a great time to jumpstart a health and fitness plan. The best way to stay on track is to set a schedule and stick to it. It's not just about weight. It's really about establishing the kinds of routines and habits that promote health. For a routine to work, Forutan says it has to be doable. Her top tips, get adequate rest and sleep, bring healthy snacks into the home for when cravings hit, and add a mindfulness activity like meditation or gentle stretching. Just a quiet walk around the block, some kind of stress relief that really works is going to help you manage weight loss and maintain your normal weight. With the gym closed, Keith started small. Morning walks turned into 90-minute workout sessions in his basement every morning. Then he bought a bike, which he now rides about 20 miles a day. You get your clothes on, you get your mindset that morning, and once you start doing it, just be consistent with it. Just be consistent with it. His advice, find what works for you and keep moving. Naomi Ruckham, right. CBS News. Now downloading Mama Mondays. Hello and welcome to Mama Monday. I'm Lauren. Uh, most of you know me as the producer of the East Daily Download, and I have a new title, and that's Mama. So I decided to start Mama Mondays to go on the show. Um, this is my sweet baby boy. His name is Sebastian. We call him Bash for short. He's got his little East Daily Download onesie on ready to go. Um, and we thought we'd start today with our very first Mama Monday showing you Bash growing up from when he was first born to now. He's four months old. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I have enjoyed watching him grow up. And we'll see you in just a second. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching Bash grow up. I know that I certainly have. The time has just flown by. It seems like for me, as fast as you guys just watched it in those pictures. Um, but we have enjoyed him so much. And thank you guys for being here for our first ever Mama Monday. We will see you next Monday. Bye. 
Remember, if you want to send in pictures of your kids, you can do so to download at WNCT.com and they can be featured right here on Mama Monday. Yeah. Watch your local WNCT 9 in your side news on our live stream on WNCT.com or on our mobile app. I do not, that is correct. They do. Why don't you take your blindfold off? Okay, hold on. Take get... a look, see? Oh, it's very bright. Oh, oh. It, it is kind of bright out here, yeah. All right, open those eyes and... It's the road! It's the road, no, turn around! Oh. Turn around! That, yeah, gotcha. Wait, we're going, this makes furniture distributors, is this where we're getting furniture for the show? Yes, we're getting furniture for our new set. Yes, that is awesome because right? that is the one thing we still needed. We do still we need all We have everything of our else furniture. done. It's true. So I'm gonna do. Yeah, I got. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Ark is excited. He's running off. He's ready to pick stuff out. So we are gonna get to it. Be sure to tune in tomorrow and all the rest of this week as we pick our furniture out for our new set. Tomorrow on the East Daily Download, we take our first looks around furniture distributors. We'll have a down eats and check in with entertainment tonight. Join us tomorrow for the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW.